Hi world, right here on the top of Chicago, 1690 AM WVON. You're listening to Real Talk, Real People. I'm your host, Chat Daddy, back for another evening of your favorite entertainment magazine show here at VON, where we talk about a little bit of this and a whole lot of that. But most importantly, we hope that each and every night you are relaxing, relating, and releasing whatever the stress and drama of your day. We ask that you please let it go. And if you're at work, continue to do enough work that you're able to keep your job and keep listening to Real Talk, Real People. So we have uh, Mr. and Mrs. Koontz in the room with us this evening. Aria Craig is a noted relationship uh, writer, uh, author, all of that great stuff. And her husband is a fitness expert, Mr. Mario Koontz. And uh, kind of reminds me of uh, Billy Davis, Marilyn McCool and Billy Davis Jr. You know, they had them separate names, but yet they were married to each other. So yeah, you all are the modern day Marilyn McCool and Billy Davis Jr. And so they're here tonight to talk to us about overcoming obstacles in a blended marriage. Uh, they are the uh, actual uh, couple from the Sivers commercial. Great couple. Both of them just uh, as attractive as they want to be. Uh, very friendly. Uh, actually, uh, Mario wrote a letter to me about his beautiful wife and was saying that she should be on the show. And here they both are here. I was like, no, I want to talk to both of y'all. Most importantly, I want to get a picture with the Sivers couple. <laughs> like, like, oh, that chat daddy know everybody. And I'm talking about y'all going on my wall of fame when I get home. Right. And I guarantee you'll be recognized before Michael Jackson will. In the People be like, who is that with you, Chad? I'm like, that's Michael Jackson. They'll look at y'all and be like, oh, that's the Sivers couple. Right. So that's how that works. Absolutely. So uh, let's talk about dealing with the ex. How do you how do you go about that? Now I'm gonna start with you first, Arya, because again, a woman, uh, you done introduced your child or something, a man or something, you're his child, and, and so how does that all work? Yeah, that that's that can be a challenge. We're still trying to uh, overcome those challenges because our, our situations were different. Uh, my son and uh, was birthed, you know, uh, from a single parent relationship. So okay. we were never married. Okay. As where my husband, they were married for years and then they got divorced. So their children were used to their parents being together. Oh. My son has never seen his dad and I together. Okay. So there was a big difference in how my son responded and his children responded. Okay. And there's also a difference between uh, the other parents uh, for both both sides, like my son's dad is very, um, I think he's very easy to get along with with uh, with my husband with Mario. They they chat and, and laugh with each other whenever he comes to the house to pick up uh, our son. But there's a difference with his energy and the way he is with besides uh, um, from his ex-wife. Mm -hmm. It's very different, and mm -hmm. I, I don't know if it's a man or woman. Mm -hmm. thing it, it is. It with, is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Trust and believe. And it the is. fact that they were married and we weren't, so mm -hmm. there's very big difference in our relationship and his relationship with my son's dad. Okay. Now, now that you uh, so eloquently explained <laughs> that, you off the hook. Now, Mario, this me and you. Okay. Because now you know these women. Yeah. You know, can kind of right. So how did that all pan out for you? Because again, you were married. Yes. to this woman and she's the mother of your children and now you've decided to move on and go elsewhere and we've heard all these stories of people bitter and upset and slashing tires and or maybe that's just in my relationship <laughs> but but you know it, it does happen so how did you deal with it well the, the one fact that needs to be focused on I, as, for the purpose of this discussion is to remember that the numbers are really against you in terms of statistics, and I, I really like dealing with facts and figures and statistics. The reality is that half of marriages in the United States are going to fail, 50 percent. That, mm -hmm. Those are the numbers. Mm -hmm. um, of those, uh, the average marriage only lasts about seven years. Mm -hmm. And these aren't numbers that I'm just coming up with. These are our mm -hmm. actual United States Census Bureau statistical data. Mm -hmm. um, out of those, that, that percentage, 75% of those divorced individuals will tend to remarry. Mm. So that's kind of the reality that you're dealing with. So in America, 1,300 new blended families are formed every day in the United States. Wow, 1,300, 1300 new exactly. blended families exactly. happen a day. And the kicker is that 60 to 70% of those blended families will end in divorce. So it's, you know, what's the reason for that? Mm -hmm. So it's important to take a look at it. And a big factor in that is, you know, the relationship with an ex, you know, a spouse. Mm -hmm. um, the first thing that, you know, needs to be considered, um, you know, for you know, the purpose of what we're covering today is, you know, do you have a workable relationship with your, with your ex? Mm -hmm. The situation may, might not be ideal, but it should be, at least be workable. 
you know, share information? Can it uh, can things be kept uh, amicable? Mm -hmm. Those sorts of things. If not, and <clears throat> my wife and I, we kind of disagree on this a little bit. Mm -hmm. Before deciding to enter into that blended marriage, if, if that's the case and you cannot deal with it, then it may be best to postpone the decision to either move in, cohabitate, or to get married. Mm -hmm. Until such time where the situation can be determined to be more workable. and. Okay. Uh, or, or the other option is, well, we'll come together, but we need to make sure that we have a plan to address these differences that we're having with the with the ex, because that person can put a lot of stress on a relationship, and it can actually be a factor in destroying a relationship. Oh, absolutely, it. sure, I understand that one hundred percent. So that's why I was happy to get a couple that was able to come on here and talk about it, because a lot of people are not able to have a, a, an eloquent conversation, because there's a lot of f bombs and all that you come out, and we had to. Fight and, all, and I don't think it should be like that because really when something ends and if it ends whether on a good or bad note we need to be mature enough that we can both move on with our life you know and, and a lot of people have problems with that yeah and it, it can be difficult to do um, one of the things that um, you know I, I pride myself on and I've, I've made my share of mistakes with uh, you know in terms of my relationship with my ex um, I never speak negatively about her beautiful uh, no matter and that's not their place to be exposed to that sort of thing. So mm -hmm. no matter what comes at me, I have to realize that you know my children don't need to hear that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it, you don't need to put that added pressure on them. Mm -hmm. um, but it was important to me to realize that you know I have to be able to separate that because I'm getting a lot of you know I would get a lot of negative feedback from my ex, and that would stress me out. And I had to make sure that I wasn't bringing that to you know our new relationship. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. And were you worried and concerned about a lot of baggage? Because really, that's what it is. And, and it's not like none of us, that we don't come with baggage. Uh, were you really concerned about his past relationship and marriage and things like that? No, I can't say that I was concerned. At the beginning, when we were dating, I they had some tension because there was some some bitterness between her and him. Not really so much him. Mm. And normally, that's how it happens when. There's a divorce. The man normally is the one that goes and finds the relationship <clears throat> first <clears throat> because men are driven by what they see and women are driven by their emotions. So it's quicker for the man to find a woman. So the woman that he was with prior is going to be bitter because she's no longer the attention. <clears throat> so at the beginning, I, I wasn't I wasn't concerned about it. I think it got a little bit more hectic after we got married because I think that's when reality set in that okay he has another wife. Mm -hmm. And this not this is not a girlfriend. This is not just some woman that he's dating. Mm -hmm. This is a wife. So mm -hmm. he's now about to prioritize and shift things mm -hmm. different with his life and with our children. So we we did have some situations with um, from the ex standpoint as far as he is concerned. Okay. We didn't really have any issues with with the ex on my side, my my son's father. We never really okay. had any issues because again, we weren't married. Got so you. Okay. They, we never were together mm -hmm. like that when my son came along. So mm -hmm. there was very much a, a difference with the dynamic. Okay, very good. All right, so when we come back from break, I want to talk about the step parent dynamic. Uh, you know, uh, oftentimes step parents want to be considered as a parent, but then there are, I guess, some boundaries and, and ways of handling that. And I'm sure you two will explain how that all works because you both have sons, correct? Yes. Okay, so that makes it interesting. But even, you know, uh, girls are different from boys and, you know, so I'm sure we'll lay all of that out. All right, you're listening to the Thursday Night Relationship Edition of Real Talk, Real People, where we're having a conversation about overcoming obstacles when you're in a blended marriage. And I have a wonderful couple here tonight who's explaining their personal story. That's how this show works. You're listening to Real Talk, Real People. We'll be back in a moment.